Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a lower third or a, an explanation to your video using Filmora 10. So you know that we are in uh, Filmora 10.5.5 now and uh, we have a uh, messy folder and many many resources that we cannot find in, in the program, especially for the, uh, those of you who are using Filmora 9 and Filmora 10.4 or and and uh, below version version under under 10.5 uh, so i decided to make more tutorial more up, updated tutorial uh, to show you guys how to do some simple things okay about the lower third it can uh, can be placed at the corner of your video to explain about things uh, especially especially uh, the one who cannot explain very well like me um, my English uh, speaking is not very good, so uh, I have to use text and lower thirds to explain what I uh, I want to say and what I, I want to explain uh, in my video all the time. Okay, so let's go to Filmora 10. And uh, this is in my Filmora 10. Uh, I have a video here, for example. So this is my main video. I have logged it, uh, so it uh, will not move. And I have some uh, simple lower third here. Uh, so the first thing uh, when you want to add lower third to your video, you need to put it uh, at the top track uh, For example, this is a video track and you need to put it uh, right here uh, Above the, the main video track. Okay, so for example here. Uh, let's control Z to undo it and here's the first one uh, Very beautiful, right? So this is my channel name and with a bell and some uh, text here follow me and that is the first one and let's play okay and it is another one uh, with the animated button here and also some text here so being mentioned that all this stuff you can find right inside the program so when you finish the installation everything here will be inside the program okay so let's delete this one uh, so in order to add a load third to your video you need to go to the title okay so we are at Filmora 10.5.5 and now we need to go to the title and then find the recommended one here if you see uh, many things here and some uh, diamond icon or stuff like that and you cannot use it for your video because the, it is a best subscription you can go to here uh, at this view option and click here and then check for free one and you have all the stuff uh, that you can use and export to uh, export into final result without watermark or any subscription uh, requirement or stuff like that okay uh, be sure to check uh, this one the free option and then you need to find some lower third here uh, for example the one that I use uh, I have some uh, some interesting thing here lower third 14 13 and 12 and stuff like that you can use any of them uh, for the first one I'm going to use this one and all I need to do to write uh, to drag and drop it onto a tom uh, onto a timeline at this position okay so this is uh, my first lower third and to control the to control the overall of the of the lower third you need to, to use the title group controller okay to do that you need to double click here and then you see here uh, this is a title group controller you can control the scale and position and rotation of the group uh, the group meaning all the text in here, here uh, this text and this one and this uh, video preset so we have two part in the lower third the first one is text and the second one it is the preset video okay and you can adjust the scale for example you can adjust the scale of the group uh, make it bigger or you can adjust uh, it to 50 percent scale so it could be smaller and if you want to rotate uh, the group you can use this rotation okay and you want to reset it to zero if you want to uh, reset the rotation for the position you can uh, use this slider okay move it to the left and move it to the right okay so it's it's up to you you need to use the title group controller to con control the overall of the of the lower third and another way if you don't want to use this one uh, the title group controller you can also grab it 
directly on the on the preview window. By the way, uh, when you drag and drop it, uh, drag and drop it directly at the preview window. You have two parts, so you have just move the first part, the video preset, and you need to move the text also. So this is the text. You have to move it to the position you want. Okay. By doing this, uh, you have more control of your lower third by the way you have to do it manually manually okay and it is the second text and we can i'm sorry we can uh, resize it and move it to here at the follow me button here okay so i'm i'm going to undo it uh, so that i have here for example uh, we have this one and we want to customize the text inside and also the animation and also the video preset or stuff like that uh, the first way uh, we can double click at the title uh, title box here and then change the text right here for example it is social media bike so I'm going to type my channel okay and I'm going to give it more space so increase the text space and also I can increase the size if I want 44 or stuff like that okay and now it is right here and this text follow me i will keep this uh, this text okay and we can uh, use the title group controller to move them down to the bottom here okay and to the side all right uh, we can click OK. Uh, so this is the first way you can customize your lower third. Uh, just double click and you know, we have the basic text editor here. And you can also change the animation of the text uh, right here also. So the second way is to go to the advanced text editor. Okay, so uh, the first uh, first option you can click here, go to advanced. Or you can right click at the title, title box on the timeline and then uh, select advanced edit. Uh, by doing this, uh, it will be in the, the in the advanced tech editor. Okay, so it, it will open the the advanced tech editor. Here we have the text and text, and we have the preset video. So being mentioned that you cannot uh, you cannot change the color of the preset video and stuff like that uh, inside here because it is already a video. Okay, uh, we can only change the text here. For example, uh, this is the text uh, text timeline and we can change the animation of the text uh, this one uh, the text checking win uh, we can go to the animation and then uh, select another animation cross zoom erase so i'm going to change it to erase uh, let's say here very nice right and we can also uh, control the animation speed uh, with all this slider you don't want uh, if you are not happy with the preset template you can uh, adjust the speed of the animation here okay and this is a, a follow uh, the same so again also the same you can move it along the timeline here and and finally if you are happy with the uh, with the lower third that you create for your video and you want to use it for your next project uh, you can click this button save as custom okay so just click this uh, save as custom and you can give it a name lower third Jackie for example and then click OK and now you can use it for your next project uh, when you close the, this project and finish OK and we're going to uh, click OK and now we have this lower third uh, with some uh, some modification OK and in order to, uh, to use the, the, the lower third that you have just saved for next project you can go again uh, go to title again and fight in the custom folder here okay and this is the, the one uh, that I have just saved okay and all I need to do is to drag and drop it right here or the timeline and I have another load third exactly the same the same format and stuff like that now okay let's play it again uh, again there are many many other low third here so it is very simple to use and just drag and drop and customize you can double click double click at any templates here on uh, on the on the media folder to see okay and this is the low third 
another one okay so that is everything you need to know about how to add a lower third and how to customize them and also how to save them for your next project in Femora 10 if you have any more questions just let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye bye